Afono and Sam Kakra Waka Efanikum. Tribute from the wife, Madam Joyce Boatma Frimpon. And if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal body because of his spirit who lives in you. Romans 8, 11. Although death is inevitable, saying goodbye to my dear husband today saddens my heart in unimaginable ways. The pain of separation consumes my entire being. Today, I lay to rest the only person who encouraged me and a great source of comfort. As soon as my husband met me, he defied all us and was determined to make me his wife. Glory be to God, it came to pass. And I do not regret being married to such a brilliant person. Nana Kwame Ampedu, affectionately called the evangelist, was not only a wonderful husband, but was also a great father, friend, advisor, uncle, and my coach. He was cheerful, loving, adorable, and friendly to all persons he came into contact with. He was very blunt and never hid the truth, no matter the consequences. I remember with fondness the times you pack your things and give them out and say to me, Mommy, I am doing this because of you, for I need someone to see you through. As you were saying all these things, I never understood what you meant. Every morning, your absence is deeply felt, more so because of the daily devotions you will lead the entire household to have. Hmm. We battled hard and long, and were confident this would end in praise. In this hope and confidence, we planned a present surprise for you, but little did we know you would leave us so soon, breaking many hearts. Though your body is for the grave, but your spirit, your beautiful soul, your uncommon ability to calm the storms is still with us. We have been made better because you were in our lives. I have lost a worthy helpmate, efficient, faithful, loyal, and a true friend. He inspired me in many ways words can't explain. Annie, the vacuum you have created is impossible to fill. But I am comforted knowing you left me in the able hands of our Lord Jesus Christ. As David said in Psalm 23 verse 4, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. None of my coach, as I used to call you, I assure you that I will not stay drained by grief. I give you my word. I will stay strong and together with the children make you proud by the special grace of God. We love you, Nana, but your creator loves you more and needed you home. May you rest in the bosom of the Almighty till we meet again, my forever love. Rest in perfect peace, Nana. Demi Feji, Jane Amanu.